Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a very 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 complex problem. We have e to the power i z equals cosine i plus i sine i. It's actually very imaginary I should say because of the presence of i in so many places. And I will be presenting two methods. First when I thought about this problem I was like I don't think there's a there's two ways to do it but then I kind of figured it out hopefully you will let me know which method you like better in the comment section down below okay great so let's go ahead and take a look my first method is going to use some identities uh, that are very helpful especially if you're trying to find the cosine and sine of a complex or imaginary number by the way when I say complex number uh, I mean a non-real complex number obviously if you are trying to find cosine of pi over 6 it's a real number at the same time a complex number but I mean a non-real complex number make sense so these identities come from a really nice formula we'll talk about that in a little bit but cosine theta can be written as um, e to the i theta plus e to the negative i theta over 2 I'm just gonna give you these identities because we'll talk about them one more time and let's just present these without proof first so using this formula, you can actually evaluate cosine i real quick. And you can pretty much evaluate any cosine, right? Cosine of anything, including i. Replace theta with i, you get e to the i squared minus e to the negative i squared divided by 2. I'm hoping that you know a little bit of complex numbers. If you don't, go ahead and check out the lecture videos that I made that talks about basics of complex numbers from the very beginning, from the definition. So i squared is negative 1, one thing that you should never ever forget about complex numbers. And that's the definition. So i squared you can replace with negative 1. And negative i squared is going to be 1, obviously. And now cosine i can be written as 1 over e minus e divided by 2, which can also be written as 1 minus e squared divided by 2e. Something that's really cool about cosine of an imaginary number is that it's real. Can you believe that? Really? Okay, anyways, that's what it is. Now let's go ahead and save that for future use and try to evaluate sine of i. To find sine of i, we're going to use a formula for sine of theta in general. It's e to the i theta. So that's kind of similar to the cosine formula with slight variations, uh, like a minus sign here. And, and at the bottom, instead of a 2, we have 2i because sine is awesome. Now from here, you can find sine i as e to the power i squared minus e to the negative i squared divided by 2i and similarly from here sine i is going to be this is of course e to the power negative 1 minus one, uh, not 1 over e e to the minus uh, negative 1 e to the power negative 1 minus e divided by 2i and that's just going to be after simplifications 1 minus e squared divided by 2ei e and i are both constants right e is Euler's number Great, so that is my sine i. Great, I got sine i and cosine i, so why not plug those in, right? Cosine i plus i sine i. Replace cosine i with 1 plus e squared divided by 2e, or not 2e, plus i times sine i, which is 1 minus e squared divided by 2ei. Great, because the i cancels out, leaving us with 2e at the bottom, which is a common denominator. So we can go ahead and add the numerators and divide by a common denominator. That's going to give us cosine i plus i times sine i. Okay, i squared cancels out. We end up with 2 over 2e, which is 1 over e. Beautiful. You know why this is beautiful? Because 1 over e is equal to the left-hand side. What was on the left-hand side? Did you forget? It was e to the power i z. So remember the original problem was like this and now we know that cosine i plus sine i is equal to 1 over e. Now we can associate these directly which is cool. e to the i z equals e to the power negative 1 and then from here i z equals negative 1. And then you can just divide both sides by i or multiply by negative i and that's going to give you z equals i. Think about it. i squared is negative 1 so what would you multiply i by to get i squared? course the answer is i right great so that gives us a solution but the million dollar question is 
Is that the only solution? So we're gonna go ahead and explore that within the second method because there's a couple different things we need to talk about. Okay, so with the second method, we're gonna use Euler's formula. And by the way, this is where those sine and cosine formulas come from. Because if you replace theta with negative theta, you get cosine theta minus i sine theta because sine is odd and cosine is even. Remember I told you sine is awesome, which means it's odd. And then by solving this as a system or whatever, eliminating one of the variables, you can get um, you can find formulas for sine and cosine. But that's not the point. Because I do want to get to e to the iz. What is e to the iz? The Euler's formula tells me e to the i theta. So just replace theta with z. You get cosine of z plus i times sine of z. Beautiful, right? And we know that this is equal to cosine of i plus i times sine of i. Wait a minute. This looks easy, right? Does this mean z equals i? That's a good question, right? Something to think about. So let's go ahead and look at an alternative. Maybe at a 2b or not 2b, right? So we can also do or cosine i plus i sine i. By the way, remember cosine theta plus i sine theta is e to the i theta. So cosine i plus i sine i is going to be e to the power i squared, which is e to the power negative 1, which is equal to e to the power i z. From here again, we get i z equals negative 1. Great. So, wait, what does this mean? Does that mean z is equal to i again? Of course. Think about it again. Well, let's go ahead and do the division. How about this? We're going to divide by i's. Pretend we don't know anything about it. Now, how do you get rid of the i at the bottom? You have to multiply by the conjugate. A lot of times people are confused about these things. What is the conjugate of i? Is it i or negative i? <laughs> well, think about it. The conjugate of a plus bi, by the way, it's the name of this channel, is a minus bi. So i is 0 plus 1i. Its conjugate is going to be 0 minus 1i. In other words, its conjugate is negative i. If you multiply by i, you'll get a negative at the bottom, which you have to take care of. No big deal. You can do it. But I just like doing it this way because negative i squared is equal to positive 1. So we get negative 1 times negative i, which is positive i. I don't know if you can say positive because i is neither positive nor negative. But you get the idea. There's a plus sign in front of it. So z equals i is a solution. And again, the million dollar question pops up. Is that it? The answer is, ready? No. Because when you got e to the iz equals e to the power i squared or negative 1, this is not the end of the story because you can go ahead and multiply the right hand side by e to the power 2 pi and i. Why? Because this is 1 in the complex world. In other words, we complexified a hidden one. And why are we doing this? Just for trouble? No. This gives us all the solutions. So from here, you get negative 1 plus 2 pi and i. By the way, n is an integer, positive or negative. And from here, we get i z equals, oops, I think I um, messed up again. Did I? No. Oh, no, that's good. 2 pi and i. And now eventually, you're going to divide both sides by i. Uh, and when you divide here, you're going to know that this is going to become i. And the i here is going to disappear, leaving us with a really nice expression, z equals i plus 2 pi n, n is an integer. These are basically all the solutions. And if n is equal to 0, you get the principal solution, which is z equals i, which is the obvious one. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.